Hey folks, Quilly Teen here and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Surviving Mars. We are we are slowly expanding. One of the things I actually have to resist in this game is expanding too quickly. Because I'm always, in all my games, I'm always like, I gotta expand, expand, expand. And you can very easily get yourself in trouble in Surviving Mars if you push out too quickly. Because, I like, I have enough material to go and build a new area. By far, I can get a new dome, I can do lots of things right now with this material. But if you get let yourself get too low, like... Things can go badly very quickly. In fact, even the amount of polymers I've got here have me kind of concerned. Machine parts as well, although it might be a little... tells us that we've found iridium-rich sulfides. Right! We have a, a, a magnifying glass or something to check out. Mankind's ingenuity has found a myriad of applications for it, but we focused our plan on a much simpler, more vital world in our growing colonies. RTGs! Uh, radio... something generators. Radio thermal generators? Free energy for everyone. Tech boost 10% to all physics technology. I think we're only missing the tech boost in one category now. That is brilliantly good. All right, let's get you to um, let's get you to come over here, poor little guy. Last time I told you to go up the ridge, you got confused about how to go, and then you got uh, dust deviled. I'm gonna go here next to the tunnel, and then uh, yeah, we'll send you up there. I might manually click you on the tunnel to send you through or something like that, so we can scan that. Um, speaking of scanning, oh, I guess I got everything queued up already. We're gonna want to do some more expansion. Mostly, I think our next expansion might wait until we've got deep scanning because we're going to want to like really optimize ourselves based on where these deep metal deposits are because they can be incredibly rich deep deep metals and deep water i mean we need a lot of technology to get to that point um i think i'm still going to leave this in here i really like the idea of the factory ai i'm actually wondering if we because we are starting to crew more and more rare, rare metals and that's just from one mine that's only working at, like, lower productivity as well, because it's the AI. We could go and do this for the extra power, and really start shipping out... You know what? I will go and amplify this. An extra 25%. It'll be interesting to see how it goes. We're going from 5.3. So, depending on how it multiplies or whatever. And I think everything is multi multiplicative, which is a word I can never say properly. But I think this will produce a lot of rare metals for us, and we are, in fact, going to start exporting. Not that we have any shuttles on the surface right now. I think if we're going to do anything, it might be more people, flawed or not. We've got plenty of room in our colony. Tons of room and tons of workspace. Let's do it! Passenger rocket. Oh no, we've got enough matching colonists. Right, I did open up the flaws. We allow some flaws now. Let's go for it. Launch another one, and yeah, we'll, we'll enable um, exporting of rare metals. It will be 30 per shuttle. Like, they eat a lot of rare metals, but a uh, shuttle with 30 rare metals gives you a ton of cash. I don't know what we'll do with the money. We might just use the money to outsource science. Like, we are self-sustaining self on Mars here. We're maybe not producing as quickly as we'd need to be 100% non-reliant. Look, at like, you can see the electronics maintenance that was required last soul is only, you know, just almost as high as our production. Although that's going to be kind of bursty. Sometimes we'll need more, sometimes we'll need less. Especially with things like meteor storms and whatever. Like, we need a giant pile of it. So I'm not comfortable with our production yet. But... We also aren't quite maxing our production because, you know, we don't have uh, all of our people in here. Cable we could even, like, get so many people in here that we could run double shifts. And, yeah, see, people moved over here for the higher comfort in here. And as long as some people are comfort, it doesn't matter what the average comfort of the colonists. It just matters, like, high, um, high comfort people will start producing babies. And I don't know, like, what the actual break point is. doesn't say it explicitly. I feel like it might be 60 and I think that the chance of having babies goes up the more comfortable you are as well. It might be anything above 50 as well. I'm not sure. And then having the infirmary lowers the requirement. Well, that's the research lab. Infirmary. But we don't know how much that lowers it by. And yeah, more researchers here. Double, double shift of research would actually be especially nice. I'm going to go ahead and unlock that now so I don't forget. That just opens the research screen and there's priority. Like I can make it higher priority that people work here. Um, but I'm not going to necessarily hit it. You're lazy, so you're procrastinating. But at least you're scientists. So we got one non-scientist here. We got a botanist. Um, oh, I didn't realize the male and female botanists actually have different colored uniforms here. Hangover. <laughs> oh, I understand. Um, yeah, it's interesting that you're not prioritizing here. I guess they're, they're trying to balance. And I think if we had enough people, then they would sh sort of shuffle them back and forth between workplaces. I might be able to fire you and encourage you to go there. Especially, look at that. See, I'm going to fire you. I don't know if you'll get a job here or come back or what you're going to do. I think they do try to, like, every now and again, they, they double check their, like, qualifications and different work things. And they rebalance things. 
But I do think they try to keep a balance between the ver various work sites. So oxygen, that's a big surplus. Water, I'm I'm pretty confident these are nowhere near working their cap. Yeah, you can see only half their strength, half their strength. So we could have a lot more water. Um, looks like just to avoid some messes, it would be nice to build some dumping dumping sites over here. I don't know, for some reason, every night I'm going to hit shift. I wasn't even hitting tab, but it opens up my steam overlay. Some, some sort of weird hotkey with steam. So this is a rocket with more passengers. I will dump you off over here. And yeah, I'm going to turn off, turn on the rare metals exporting because we are getting more and more. I did just go and upgrade you to amplified here. So we're making 6.1. It is using more power, but I think it's going to be worthwhile because yeah, I would love to export the rare metals for the purpose of, so I'm going to turn on New exports. Have arrived. Um, I would love to turn on uh, outsource science just to tech up a lot faster. And that actually is quite cheap to do a low level one, right? Because there's this one, which is 200 Mars bucks which we have more than enough of. It's a thousand science. That's not bad. And I mean, the other one, it's the same ratio. It's 2,000 Mars bucks for 10,000 science. And that's where like, you really accelerate things. But even doing this, we're going to get a pretty substantial boost to our tech. That's a whole low-level tech for just 200 bucks, which I do like. And again, kind of confirmed over here. Got lots of fuel sitting around. Some of it is getting polymerized over here. There you go. You're nice and full now. And these are all engineers as well. Oh, no. You're a geologist. Hey, I see the uniform colors. Okay. But still, that's pretty good. Overall work performance over here is sitting at a... Oh, zero, because no one's working right now, because it's nighttime. Oh, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> like, why is it only zero? What am I doing wrong? It's a glitch, pipe or it's nighttime. Leak. Pipe leak, but even with the pipe leak, we're not running into any deficits over here. Haven't had a disaster in a while, which... Why did I just say that out loud? Just inviting trouble. Yeah, I don't think... Overlapping deposit's going to matter that much because I'm pretty sure after this deposit is mined out, that's probably all the uh, concrete will really get out of here. I mean, we could still get the edges. I mean, it's still high qual. Or no, it's only average. Yeah, and you can see, you can't click on this to see how much is left under this building, but there's really not going to be much left over here once this building is done. So we're two days away from a dust storm, which I think we're fine. We got enough material to go and maintain everything after the dust storm. Power wise, we're going to be okay. Oh, it's going to be really interesting to check up here. So we're still at the 10.8. The oh, you're going to need some maintenance real soon here. We're still at 10.8. It'll be interesting to compare before and after here with the uh, the wind turbines to see if these guys are actually getting a boost during the dust storm. Because it looks like it only gets dusty on the low ground. But I don't know if that's just a visual thing or what. Oh, a dust devil over here is going to be annoying. Oh, gosh. It ran out right before hitting us. Oh, that could have been bad. There you go. Gathering exports. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And yeah, you're going to be a heavy workload for now. Sure, makes sense. Okay. Research arcology. So yeah, I think we are going to drop the arcology into that small dome down there. Very curious to see exactly what its stats are. Because I actually, I don't believe I've unlocked that in any of my games yet. So I never got a chance to actually do it. Because we get, like, you can see the build cost over here. But it just says many colonists. We don't know exactly how many, but I'm, I'm pretty pumped. I wonder if a full rocket, it might actually give us enough to do the expensive outsourcing. And that wouldn't be too shabby. Right, we got some debris over here. I don't think it hurts anything. It just looks dumb. Looks bad. That's mostly what the deal with these dumping sites are. It probably isn't even that efficient to go and bother doing this. It just wastes the drone's time. But it looks bad to have these little piles of dirt. And the the liquefaction tech specifically Please references being able to extract. Oh, there's our ecology tech. Extract. Um, oh, right here. Extract concrete from waste rock stored in dumping sites. So it's possible it can't do it from just anything. So arcology complete. So let's go. I might want to wait until after the dust storm just for maintenance, because it's going to take. Oh, it's only ten polymers, right? It's surprisingly cheap. 80 concrete. We have lots. 10 polymer. 20 power, but fits 32 people. Okay. An apartment is 10 power, but fits 24. 12 power. So, it's two people per power. The arcology is less. It's like not quite 1.5 people per power. It's less than that. So power-wise, it's not that efficient. It needs a lot of polymers for maintenance. One of the things with the apartment is that while it needs 10 polymers to build, it only needs concrete for maintenance. Still, 
I'm very tempted. We can actually get a polymer factory going on over here. God knows we have enough fuel and we'll have enough people. Let's do it. Ah, oh, look how cool that is. It's going to poke through the dome. There's some um, arcology buffing techs you can get later on as well. And we don't know what the comfort level is. We won't know until it's built. But I'm betting it's okay. I mean, it's it's so much bigger than an apartment and only has a few more people in there. I'm betting it's at least as comfortable as the uh, this one. But it might be more so. I mean, it, that's cool, man. That's really cool. But we, if nothing else, we have to build it just, just for cuz. Just for cuz. Yeah, still tons of concrete here. These drones are still being massively overworked. Poor little guys. Poor little guys. This is being reloaded here. Things are being moved around. Do, 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 do. Um, oh, yes, my little explorer. Little explorer who could. I'm going to encourage you to go through there, please. And then we'll get you to pop, uh, pop that thing. Which, is Sector it going to reveal breakthrough? It is. Very exciting. Because I think the breakthroughs, again, like, the, the main tech line, it randomizes the order, but all the techs will be the same. The breakthroughs, you might not see this. In fact, a lot of these you won't see every game. I don't know if there's, like, different levels of rarity for different things. Some breakthroughs might be much more common than others. But I, I don't know. I think there's a fairly large pool of them. Um, one of the founders, one of the sponsors you can play as is actually Paradox Interactive. Um, and their mechanic is that they're much more likely to find breakthroughs. And they get paid for breakthroughs. Not for general science, just breakthroughs. And so if you really want to hit a lot of those and get uh, some more, like, more of the random techs, which can be very exciting, that'll be a way to go. Yeah, you're nearly full. Nearly full on exports. We might wait for you to actually be full on rare mirrors. Yeah, we still have tons left over. I think, I think this does not count the ones that are on the rocket. Slight power shortage now. It is nighttime. There might have just been a little window with, like, the manufacturing stuff starting up right before the solar panels did. No, we still have the negative. It's daytime. We are actually running negative power during the day while all the factories are up. We don't have that many solar panels, keep that in mind. Still, I did say the next time we ran into a little power thing, I would go and add more power up here, which I still think is good. Uh, oh yeah, we still don't want to compare before and after the power up on the ridge. I am going to go and, and start building some of the wind turbines, though. At least, like, the first half of them over here. So you are ready to go. You're not quite full on the um, the rare minerals. I'll wait for them to finish loading up before we ship you off. Although, I can't get you to take off during a dust storm. So you know what? I'll hit the button now. Because there's sometimes a little bit of a delay, depending on if there's already someone who's doing some work. There we go. So it's only going to send back with 27 instead of 30, but that's, that's fine. Okay, dust storm is starting any second now. So... Okay, so you do get the power. And you know what? I just realized it does get dustier here. It looks worse on the lowland, but it must actually be dust storming everywhere. It must still be hitting up here. I think they actually spin visibly faster as well. Is there just me or is there a difference between these two? Like, they might spin faster with the low density polymers. And we've got lots of juice now. Even with the solar panels not working, or they work at like 50% during the dust storm. Oh, yes, um, Mr. Explorer, come over here. I want to see what this breakthrough is, please. Please to be breaking through. But yeah, we're going to need, we're gonna need deep scanning. Um, I think we're going to do this. I'm actually thinking I'm going to get rid of the battery optimization. We'll re it afterwards. We got the factory AI. It's very expensive, but I think we're going to appreciate it. And deep scanning. I want to start finding where those metal the deep metal deposits are so that we can plan our next dome. We won't have the ability to exploit the deep metal deposits yet, but we can figure out where to position our next dome. I mean, we're not even full yet, but, you know, got to start thinking. Look. Oh, yeah. Oh, we finished our ecology bit. Yes, 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 yes. Over here. Maxwell 1 dome. Comfort level is 60. Oh, that's good. Okay. So... I mean, we could leave these here. We don't need the space yet. I could turn them off to save power, but they're only one each. Since we have the comfort and we have this, now, we don't have any unemployed people here. So, I mean, we will be building more buildings. Yeah, Shuttle Hub doesn't function during dust storm. Which could definitely be a problem. Yeah, so mostly we just need more people. So I am going to set up the cloning booth in the other one. Overcharge amplifications. Hold on. First, I'm going to take my RC Explorer and get it back to safety. Well, yeah, no, safety. Overcharge amplifications. 
Amplify upgrades grant a bigger boost to production. So I believe this is the one. Power. Unlimited power. Sheev. It's like, wait, who's Sheev? Oh, right. Sheev Palpatine. Is I think the reference. Unless I'm missing something. Um, so I think this boosts the Amplify, which is this Amplify. Right? As opposed to Magnetic Extraction. Right? So it's Amplify here. So this gives plus 25 production. With that boost, it might also go up to 50%. So now with the ton between the two of them, they go crazy. Now, with the regular deposits, since they don't have that many pure numbers, we may not be that desperate to lock them on. On the other hand, again, it continues to be very just efficient per building here. This will drain pretty quick, but it still gets us a hell of a good start early on. So yeah, we might still want to go and build some of those. We do have an auction shortage. Right, of course, the Moxie doesn't work during a dust storm, so that makes sense, but we have we don't have that much stored up, and we have so many dust storms, and we're starting to get a lot more people. We are going to want to make sure that we build a bit more oxygen storage, and at some point we'll get the tech to, like, increase the amount of oxygen and water and power that gets stored in these. Funding received. So, we got 600 million funding from the rare metals export. Excellent. One of the things I'm not sure about, can you double up on the export, on the um, outsourcing? Yeah, 400. Now, I might want to save some for emergencies, but part of me is also tempted to just... Because we are a little low on machine parts. The maintenance right now is crazy. I mean, we have a machine parts factory. Oh, there's just not enough people working here. We just don't have enough people in this dome. Okay, what we need are more people to keep the engine going. So that's what we're going to do. There we go. 12 more colonists. Go. Go. Because I could make this higher priority, but then what would happen is... Then there wouldn't be as many people working the farm, which seems pretty important. I mean, we got a lot of food right now. Maybe I'll just move the farm down to, like, normal priority. I'm going to get rid of the second soybean here so we get more potatoes more frequently. Because we're at we're now at the break. So it's going to finish this. It'll go up to 100. The potatoes will bring it down to 90. Back up to 100. So on and so forth. We're good there. What about the second dome? Galilee number one. Uh, you're still working your way up. We do have the... Oh, no, we don't have the extra crops. Never mind. And you guys aren't actually connected to water pipes, so let's fix that. And you're waiting for some maintenance. Yeah, it's the machine parts. Very low on those. I think I'm actually... I'm going to go and boost the priority of the machine parts factory. So both ships, shifts actually get used. And we'll land some more people here. God knows we have enough room. I love how it pokes up through here. How cool looking is that? Had an unprepared meal. I mean, you have both a diner and a grocery, but it's going to happen from time to time because there's limited space for things. So no one's working at the infirmary. No one's working at all at the farm. Yeah, just, it's okay. We'll get more people here. We do have the second rocket. Do I just send it right away? Gamblers are fine. Gowards, loners. Idiots, fine. Although you do have the 10% chance of making a malfunction. Take, leave that off. Leave the kind of conditions off. We're going to launch another one. Let's get more people. I think that's going to be good. I think, like, and we've got tons of backup food. Actually, not running the farm for a little while is okay. We have tons of food in our stockpile. Running out of machine parts could cripple our base. And I'm all about that base. I apologize. Uh, likewise, I'm going to want a second, yeah, we're going to want a second production line here and the electronics. Like, making sure this continues to work is going to be important. We might want to up the priority of them, but I don't know. And we have two, two busloads full of people coming soon. I'm not going to start the second line yet, because it's just going to mean the things run longer and we might have more power problems. Ooh, look at the shadows over here. I like the long shadows as the day nears an end. And you're just full of stuff, which is okay. Like, all the storages are full. We're just not using concrete. I could put down a second concrete storage. But why bother? I don't know if this still uses power when it's full. It might not, in which case, like, yeah, yeah, just chill, man. Sector scanned. Anomaly found. Oh, hello, Anomaly. And you are full. If I do this, are you going to get there? Nope. I think I will have to build another tunnel. Just because the AI gets very confused with this particular cliff. It must um, have a maximum number of tunnels it tries to path through or something, or I don't know. There's got to be something. We'll, we'll, but we'll just work around it for now. So, we're going to drop you off right over there. 
so you don't dust up too many things here. I don't know how if the, the dome really gets dusty. I mean, it does have deterioration and maintenance, so presumably. Boom. Peoples! There you go. The farm will start working again. And there was much rejoicing. Colonists have arrived. Thank you for that. You're not working, but that's okay. Yeah, I'll start the other tunnel here. Just because my poor little drones or transport's getting confused. Pipe uh, leak reported. Pipe leak. Okay. I'm going to do this because it might have a hard time reaching down here. Yeah, see, it's too far. Oh, no! We're just in range! Oh, I accidentally right-clicked and canceled it. I'm like, why is it not complaining about the range anymore? Let's do that. Yeah, I accidentally right-clicked when I was trying to rotate. Because that's too far. This is just right. And there's some nice deposits over there. And that's... Uneven terrain. That's uneven. But we should be able to build a dome, say, here that might catch both of them. So let's go right there. Got someone ready to land, which is good. Um... I'll preemptively get a little pipe and that just so that I can sort of see them and know what I'm doing. Uh, likewise, we'll get a drone hub. Now, we do have the ability to build these recharging stations. I don't know what the advantage of them are. They're small. you got a recharging station on each drone hub. Maybe you can do it like at sort of the limit ranges of the drone hubs just to like optimize things a little bit more. There's probably something like that, but I don't know. Um, and we don't have a sensor tower anywhere near here. And we've got a whole area there. I'm going to go and build one, but I'll build one, like, sort of far-ish from there. A little closer over there, that's going to be fine. We'll get a universal storage right there as well. And RC Rover, you are on the lowland, which is fine. So I'm going to take you and move you over here. So eventually things can get started. Okay, you're ready to take off. You still get some food in you, so I'm going to wait. The, um, the rare metals will take a little longer to ship over here because it's got to be shuttled. Yeah, I'm just going to get another person, another shuttle over here, some more people. I mean, I could launch you now. I may as well empty at least the food. I don't care if you're full of um, rare metals or not. But at the very least, we'll do the food. So we're still teching our way up to the, the factory AI. Yeah, their first outsourcing ran out, but that's fine. Still don't like we're a little lower on machine parts, but we do have the two shifts now, so we should be a lot better. Six per day. There's still a lot of maintenance. I think we're definitely going to set up a second um, machine parts factory. I'm not going to run them at night. That's a good way to make your people super miserable. So I'm not going to do it at night. But otherwise. Um, I think I'm going to just build another little food depot over here. Because I think these are pretty full up. And that'll minimize the amount of work that the, um, the bots have to do for now. To like unload this. And then we'll be able to ship you off a little sooner. Because yeah, just got to get this food out of here. Malfunctioning cables, that should get fixed up. Sector yeah, went away scan. automatically. More sector scans. Found some more water. Here, I'll queue this up for now. And then once that tower gets up, we'll do this stuff. Idle extractor. This water extractor is done. Okie dokie. Well, we'll salvage you. Get quite a bit of material back. Um, we are now officially losing water. Now, over here, we do have some, some upgrades available. I think short term it's going to be worth it. I'm going to do that. I don't know about the increased power one. And same thing here. I'm going to go and upgrade both of these. And you're done as well. Salvage you. That should fix our water problem pretty quickly. I mean, we've still got a lot in the bank. So we'll just still rely on those and I'm okay with that. You, are you actually ready to go? Yeah, you no know food and you've got a full load. Excellent. Go and do that. Yeah, you can see our, me our rare metals dropped off pretty quickly. We do want to make sure that the electronic factory... I'm actually going to set it as a high priority just to make sure it really gets prioritized with the goods. Uh, if we open up a second shift, it might disturb things a little bit, so we'll have to be a little cautious with that. Overall, we have 10 unemployed people. So I would suggest it is, in fact, time to open a second shift here at the Polymer Factory. Now, this... Okay, does have some vacant residence slots. Good, so people can move from one to the other. That's going to be all right. Right now, all the unemployed people are probably here. We already got the second shift. I'm not going to open up a third one. Um, I don't have a research center here, and I think we're going to want one. So let's go and do that. And we can actually run two shifts there as well. Research lab. Blam. Get more tech. And yeah, I think I'm going to go and uh, 
outsource a few times. Can I just hit one? Oh, I can. There, done. I can't outsource any more right now, not until we deliver some more goods. We'll still have a little bit of money when that rocket arrives for, like, emergency uh, resources from Earth, but I'm still feeling mostly okay and mostly just happy about teching faster. Look at that. Dramatically increased our tech rate. Um, yeah, I will probably be a polymer lab over here. I think I discussed that. There's not really room for an electronics one. Well, that's not true. I could blow up one of these living quarters. And probably still have enough people. No, we'll have to see. I'll polymer first. We might do an electronics somewhere else. Uh, in fact, I like doing the electronics where we have a rare metals mine because there's still a lot less transportation required to get that done. Um, I'm also going to go to the storages over here. Some of the... Um, that waste rock is just going to get in our way of potential construction efforts here. So we'll just move it out of the way. That's going to be swell. Man, I can't believe we haven't had a real death yet for all the problems we've had. Oh, hello. RC Rover, you're just chilling here. You're charged. Yeah, you can come down here. You're on the low ground and everything. And yeah, that tunnel will take a little while, but it's actually coming along pretty well. This area built up here. You're not within range of this, but if I moved you over, then you wouldn't be in range of both. Good. So we'll probably get some orders and some deliveries, which will be nice. Scan, scan, scan. Yeah, slow scans. When we get the deep scan, we might build some more things over there, but even then... I don't know. And it's one... You got a scanner here. You know, I don't think we need this one at all. But I guess we fixed it? I guess so. I thought I thought I had blown this up, or was just gonna ignore it. I don't know. All right, whichever. Sector scanned. Yeah, we'll just do that. I do wish there was like a slightly Funding faster received. speed. Funding received. Good. Do I just use it for tech? You betcha. You betcha. Outsource. Done. Done. D Ooh, are we getting diminishing returns? Why are we not getting an exact, like, 1,400 or whatever? I bet you there's diminishing returns from spamming too many of them. So I'm going to hold off. We'll use the more money more efficiently. That being said, we are, what, doubling our research? We're more than doubling our research now as a result of outsourcing. It'll also help once we get all these uh, research labs set up. So we're just waiting for a little more electronics to come in. We still have plenty in the pool. Okay, what I might do is I might let the game play a little on its own in between this episode and the next one. I mean, if something dramatic happens, certainly I'll stop. But just letting it finish a few of these constructions and a little bit of the research, I think that's going to be a swell idea. Uh, you're waiting for machine parts to arrive in this general area, because presumably you don't have any. Indeed, that is true. A lot of them did just get used for over here. We don't have a ton of machine parts, and... Oh, yeah, we really do need to get another um, shuttle hub. They're so busy right now. Yeah, you know what? Um, there it is. It's like, isn't it in here? Because we got fuel production over here, so this is going to be a swell place to go and stick in another shuttle hub. Each of our major areas will probably end up getting one, because it'll make it a little easier for like a shuttle just pop out here, pick something up, and go. And yeah, it's got local fuel con construction. Uh, it turned out to be one of the most well-preserved asteroid impacts in. Holy crap! No geologist could ever put a price on it. 3,000 science. That's why it's always important to have multiple science experiments queued up, so that when this happens, it goes crazy. Um, we got our factory AI upgrade. Okay, well, we'll put a cut in here. Clearly, we got a lot of work to do next time. I think all of our factories um, will get this upgrade, yeah. So I have to do... So this is all electronic factories, all polymer factories. It's only 20% boost, but... I mean, the factories are so critical to have operating as quickly as possible, because clearly we need more parts all of the time. We're going to do that. All right, thanks for watching, folks. We'll see you next time.